Hello, visuals. Welcome back to the Visual Guy podcast. Hello. And if you're a regular listener of the two episodes a week of the podcast, you will know that last week we tried to get a bit more smart than what we could. But again, I think we had a quite a informative, constructive. It was, it was growing up, wasn't it? It yeah. was. Uh, I, I didn't like that. I can't even pronounce that. Where's this? I won't say it out loud. Yep, cool. No worries. We'll just say Yorkshire because uh, I still have mine. But no, I, I I've got a really cool thing for us to both talk about because oh, oh, oh. there's a million things we can both say on this topic. What's that? It's a topic we've talk, talked about a million times before, and it's YouTube penis. But not you. Hey, we well, have indeed, and that was yeah, the first time you. you've come back. No, no, you. you brought it up. <laughs> you, you brought it up in the f- uh, physical term and the. Uh, Verbal term <laughs> in the verbal sense, verbal. but no, it's YouTube, and more importantly, our experience on YouTube. Uh, we've been doing this like two years. Yeah. So I thought I mean, we've never actually sat down. We've discussed video ideas. We've discussed uh, what we should do, how we should do this. But we've never actually discussed how we feel about being. I guess we can call ourselves YouTubers. I mean, not a small time YouTubers. Yeah, we're not. We're not to the the likes of PewDiePie no, and shit. We're not- to the extent of fucking but famous. We put the grind in every day. Uh, well, we give ourselves a couple of days off between thingy and stuff. Yeah. The, but no, but how do you feel about being on YouTube? Right in this current state of moment of time of everything that what is, what is. And you go I don't know. It's, it, I've always said I'd hate to be famous with all the paparazzi and everything else. I don't fair think enough, that'll ever be a slight. Fair enough, we don't get the paparazzi, but it's like, in my little hometown, hmm. I was like, you're a YouTuber. It's like, can I? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you, you recognise it. It's just like puts a smile on your face. I'm like, yeah, man. I'll never <laughs> ever forget that first time. Maybe in Greg's menu, in you Greg's. sat down. Stuck little faces on sausage rolls. Two of you visuals come over, tap me on the shoulder, and said, Can I get a picture? And I'm there thinking it's a wind up. Like, you're going to fucking laugh. What are you on about? Can, you, can I have a picture? You know, we watch you, at, you know, Megacon and stuff. And it's like, what? Because I, I know what you mean. I don't get it wrong. We're never going to get to the point nah. of where. Paparazzi is running. Who are you dating? <laughs> what did you think of this? And I'm never gonna get to that point. Always oh, picking his nose in yeah. public. But we've started a little community and people know us. Yeah. It's uh, it's not strange, isn't it? Like, it's oh, weird. strange. It's it's because it's so. It's weird, but in a good feeling. Weird. Yeah, it's mint. But um, yeah, that bit is fucking. That ticks all the boxes. That's unreal. But how do you feel about YouTube in the the current climate where we're in? Do you ever feel restricted to say out? Do you ever yes. feel? We're not going to get too clear here. I just want to... Yes. Oh, they are straight up. They're straight up. Straight up I, yes. Yeah, I kind of do and I kind of don't. I, I say yes. you probably... You can't... Sorry. No, no, go on, you can't. You, you, you can't basically do, say, anything without getting jumped down the throat of, oh, yeah, it's this, it's that, it's all PC, this, PC, that's, that. It's, that's it, kind of it's, why we try to stay away from it. It's just fucking stupid I remember when we did the podcast on the PewDiePie controversy of him slipping up playing PUBG and we were like we're only doing it because it's my favourite YouTuber I wanted to address the situation um, and it was like fucking hell how do we word this correctly without fucking it's, yeah, sounding it's, like a bad guy yeah yeah I find the same I, st- I still say stupid well, and mental and retarded stuff when I do Superhero Wednesdays and Pokemon Thursdays and that I do all the fucking time yeah oh yeah but <laughs> and then you let me know what I say it's like oh shit yeah, yeah. it's uh because to me not uh, not being uh, there's a word, I don't know what word I'm looking for but I, I, well, I don't know I wasn't brought up to specify this specify that specify this specify that I was just brought up to just fucking Go with the flow. It so is just, what it is. Yeah, basically, it is what it is. Well, doesn't matter if you're... Well, I'm going to say it, guys. doesn't matter if you're male, female, trans, whatever. It is what it is. Y- you are who you are. See, so why you have to specifically put each other in categories and shit like that. You can't say this, you can't say that. It's just bollocks. Without jumping too much down this rabbit hole because we could be afraid, is that yeah. what I will say since we've kind of brought it up. Um, nothing in this entire world offends me. No. And I think everybody else should never be offended. I think you should only find offensive what you find offensive. If somebody comes to me and like says, you're a weird fucking nerdy knobhead and you look like a fat prick, I'm just like, all right, no worries, pal. Well, so I get most of that at work, apart from the fat prick bit. I'm constantly <laughs> getting called, you tubby bitch. Andy, well, constantly, constantly, I'm like, happy you don't care, mate. I always just counteract it and then just envision being back at my house with all of my awesome shit and being like, I'm fucking mint, mate. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, 
Without going too PC and down that rabbit hole. Uh, yeah, sometimes it's it's you feel like ah oh, fucking hell. Uh, should I say this? But I've never mean. I've never stopped myself to ever be like fuck. Should have said that. Take that bit out. It's fucking just stupid how you can only say certain shit nowadays. So. How about your enjoyment level then? I'm enjoying it, man. It is fun. I, like, I, I, I don't know why I have fun. It's uh, we aren't well. Uh, I like to think of myself as a very creative person. I think when it gets to performing arts and artsy type stuff, I've got quite a lot, a lot of knowledge, and I can I can talk about it in depth. So you're more of a talker than I am. I've noticed that you won't shut up half the time. I completely <laughs> agree, especially if somebody brings up comic books or something. Yeah, boom, you go straight into it. It's like, oh, what was the quick answer? Yeah, <laughs> that, right. Completely. So, agree with that. That, so, so things like that, you help me on because, like, yeah. well, remember doing when this videos. Doing this, I think I've no, I've got to know a lot more shit yeah. than I, I actually thought so I would want been. to. I like to think since you met me, you'd learn a lot more cool shit. As in, cool shit, not I mean life shit. I mean, Captain America and Pikachu and that sort of stuff. I remember our first video, man, how we were, he was scared of everything. I held the camera for nine minutes having a fucking shake. I arm. couldn't stop laughing. You so yeah. But Every time I said something, I had breakdown laughing. You, you kept saying, like, the wrong words and that. Now if you say the wrong words, you go, ah, cut it, edit it out, or keep it in. But we were like, we did the Suicide Squad review, and you kept saying, uh, I'm sure you said Ryan Reynolds was a Deadpool at one no, point. No, I kept saying... Uh, uh, Captain Rick Flag, yeah, Rick Flag, yeah, <laughs> and we, we kept stopping and going, stopping and going, but now we'll just be like, I've edit out or fucking. But I think if you go past anybody's first videos and they're fucking awful, I can go back now and look at them and go, uh, and I can, I feel proud of the videos I put up now. There's a lot more attention to detail and time and effort put into them. Yeah, we're still on phones, but we have yeah. improved a lot. Oh, we've improved so in fucking the two much. years we've done it because uh, it started off. With um, because I'm so happy you fucking started editing because I was just editing all the videos, and I was like Chris started the videos, and then our our editing skills become a lot better. Yeah, there's I mean there's still fancy tricks, but we're like we're limited to what we can do on phones. Yeah. But I think the biggest thing is if I go back and tell the past me and you to do our videos is just just fucking do just it. Just have fun. People are gonna take the piss no matter what. Yeah. People are gonna enjoy it. A couple of people are gonna like uh, think it because like. like because it got a couple of haters. Because like they like the videos, like the FFF stuff, they don't get the greatest amount of views. But there's, uh, I think, on every single one of them, is at least three uh, likes. And I think, fucking hell, three people have enjoyed a video of us just running five It's not the same three packs. guys. As, uh, sorry, it's the same three yeah, subscribers. Your Stan Lee one, I'm pretty sure, did quite well. The, the most popular Lee, one, which uh, which I was completely shocked. At, the most popular one is the Sonic the Hedgehog one. Hi. I, I thought. I didn't think not that Sonic's not a public character. Mm. It's just one I thought. I thought I'll do Sonic. I like Sonic, and then it fucking blew up. Um, but I, I'd go back and tell past me and you, just like, listen, put the camera up. Have a fucking laugh like you're doing now. Stop being so worried. Because I was never worried. I was more worried about people going. Them videos aren't half shit. Mm. But now I'm like, hey, if you think it's shit, just smash that dislike I think button. Don't tell yourself to get rid of the tie. <laughs> the uh, the news, yeah, yeah. Get rid of the tie. But Get that, rid of the seriousness. That started off as a joke, though. To be fair, the tie. <laughs> I, the seriousness was man. Uh, yeah, that was another thing. I'm not criticising you, but it did. It did definitely took a lot longer for you to uh, be more loose and weird. Because like the news yeah. lately, now you, you, you can, you're more. That's You're more it. carefree. And I would, if anybody else, because we are in no position to give anybody YouTube advice, okay? Because we're still <laughs> yeah. going learning YouTube ourselves. Going. But if somebody came along to me and said, how do I do it? All I would say is start an account, get your phone. Hey, if you're passionate about something, then you everything will just start flowing out. Like, give me a fucking superhero character and everything will just start coming. And if people can see the passion and enjoyment in your eyes, a video will be good to it, somebody. It's mad how this actually became because it, it, it didn't... It never even crossed my mind that you'd be on YouTube. And then, obviously, you, you ask for us to do videos. You want to help me make videos? And I was like, yeah, well, why not? Go on, then. I've, I've been, yeah, I've been in the scene. Again, I've, you weren't as much into the YouTube culture as well, were you? Nah. And then I, I remember showing you a couple of YouTubers you got into. Mm -hmm. But I've been into it for years, and I've always wanted to do it, but I never knew the tech know-how, like the thing you know how to do it all. And I was like, I want to make videos, but I'm not quite tech savvy. I need somebody who knows a little bit more. So got you uh, got, got you involved and thus began the visual guys, um, but that that was that was basically yeah I was sick of just coming to work coming home watching TV going to bed I was like I want I want a passion project I want something I can sink my my heart and my soul into mm. I want something that can I, I look forward to making and editing a video and writing a video and 
shit like that. And this was all became about because Trevor got me a job at Network Network 4. Yeah. (laughs) To be honest, that that is a good point. Even though it was my idea to start the channel and shit, and I asked you to help, there's a good good chance that I never would have done it because you uploaded the first, like, five... So videos till we worked out we can upload through the phone. I don't know how that took us so long. I don't know. I was like, the only way you can do it is upload through a computer. But no, you can upload through a phone. So we, we've got like five or ten videos in would realizing you can do it for your phone. And then it took me as you realize you, you can do it for your mobile day. You don't have to use Wi-Fi because I'm uploading a video for two hours long here. <laughs> and then, but uh, I think that the biggest the biggest thing you point is uh, Chris puts all of his time and the effort. He set up like the Instagram and shit like the stuff like that. And I was more just organising the channel side of things. Yeah, so promotion... I'm, the, I'm the tech guy. <laughs> Chris is the tech guy, the guy helping promotion and spread awareness. Because if I get lost on Instagram or whatever, or Facebook, Chris comes along and tags. And I'll be the one on the YouTube side of things trying to pump it a, a little bit more. Cause yeah, if I thing... accidentally to keep deleting intros and outros. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you, you do every now and then. That backs Cause... me up. Because now, yeah, I've got, see, I've got, we've got each other's back on that. We work really good as a team as well because we, we uh, the, the YouTube it, it forces you to bring out a different side of yourself or a better side of yourself. Mm-hmm. I've definitely got a lot more silly and express my I have. thingy. Oh, you've definitely got a lot more silly. You're, you're a bad influence on me. Years you. ago, you were so stern faced and never laughed. No. <laughs> no, I wasn't. <laughs> yeah, you, you, were like a, you were like a geography teacher. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're never that bad. But no, it would be a lot more me prodding you. You know, I'm the naughty kid trying to get you into trouble. I know. That's what it was like. And it's still a little bit is now. I'm but... thinking I'm fucking mental because of you. Well, there you go. But I, I like to think I do that to people. I bring out their silly, silly uh, immature side. There's a lad at work. He's a regular blokey bloke guy. And I, he's watching me unbox Pokemon and that. It's it's mad to think how when I was in... I think I said this at some point. But when I was at school... I was shy. I was a shy kid. I will say yeah. I was a shy kid. Mm. I didn't really do big activities. I didn't mm. do plays. I couldn't stand you up. You were the uh, Grebo in the corner just to be yourself. And... Well, yeah, I was in the Grebo kids with fucking the flared jeans, the schools, the chains. I was with all that lot. I, I was just... with that lot, but I, it's, this is also a down point as well as an up point. I'm so naive. I think everywhere is roses and everybody wants to be friends. Like when I went into work, I'm, hi everybody, I like Pokemon and I like comic books, how are you? And they're like, that's fucking weird, isn't it? And it, it fucking, I mean, they're all pure spot on and shit like that. Mm. But I was so naive. I was a Grebo kid. I didn't realise people up north didn't like Grebos. But I'm like, hi, yeah, I'm Dan. I'm from down south. I like Slipknot Green Day. How are you doing? And everyone's like, oh, you're a green boy. Mm. I'm like, yeah, we friends and all. Yeah. So naive. Oh. But yeah, what's a YouTube? Um, I see what you're saying, but, um, yeah, but you, yeah. you definitely were a little bit more shy. I was always shy. It, well, not always shy. I was started off a little bit shy on YouTube. And I just thought, why am I being shy for? Because that's not me. People are going to watch the videos because they like who I am. And of course, the way I am is also going to be irritating to people and annoying to people like how I like some YouTubers like Logan Paul. But to you, it's irritating. Mm -hmm. But I think it's because I'm the oldest Logan Paul fan ever. Probably, Probably. most likely. (laughs) Um, What about his age? (laughs) Yeah, exactly, man. I think most of his fans are like 12. But... It's it's great just to just to do this because it feels like a real one to one connection. Like the people we meet at MegaCon and the people that we see wherever and stuff and say hi to, they know it's it's fun. Hi. It's uh, great to sink your heart and your soul into something and people appreciate it. And I always say if this is the climax and it's the climax, so be it. I'll be lying if I said I didn't want this to be my full time paid job. I would love that to be the case and not have to work with That'd concrete nice. and stuff. That would be nice. Uh, but I'm in, it, I'm in it for the long run. I'm not in it just to try and get a couple of quid as soon as I can and then fuck off. I'm in it for, fingers crossed, the rest of my life when I'm like 80. I'm like, this is a vlog about the Flash. I don't think I'll be around when they are 80. Nah, probably not. I don't, in fact, um, <laughs> if I don't go, go by serious chocolate overdose or smoking or coffee or fucking getting snipered by George Clooney... I always feel like George Clooney might kill me. I don't know. It'd just be if George Clooney just seen me, I'd be like I don't like this kid. What? That's just so weird. I don't know. And random. I, I think of weird shit when I'm in, when I'm in bed. I always think certain celebrities might want to come and get us. Or like I said last time, I get teleported into the sea. Or shit like it's it's fucking mad. I got irrational fears. But anyway, yeah, visuals. I don't have any that weird shit. My uh, well, you'll have to think for next podcast. We've got twenty five seconds, and I just wanted my final point is. I love doing YouTube. I don't want to stop doing YouTube. It's great meeting you. I'm having so much fun. Quickly. Oh, he loves ah. me really. <laughs> like same Dan. Like say, if I never go to Network 4, dude, I don't think we'd be here now. 
Naja. Das ist, ja. Peace, you're skipping, you keep on keeping on. Love you, bye.